Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about the two Doom games on the GBA. Doom 1 on the GBA is impressive. It's Doom 1 but with a way smaller resolution and some cut content here and there, like some shortened levels or missing enemies. Also the music tracks have been redone in a very poor quality and don't even match the levels. But in rest, it's Doom on the GBA. It runs well, well except for some frame rate shocks, but come on, it's a GBA. For a GBA it runs really well, and looks good, if you ignore the graphical downscale. And I have to say about the game that it's as awesome as Doom on PC, if you accept the compromise. At least the gameplay is the same. And as a GBA port, it's a wonder how they crammed such a game into such a tiny cartridge. And Doom 2 has a new engine, custom tailored for the GBA and manages to cram all of Doom 2 on the tiny cartridge, all 32 levels at their original size. Sure, the game can turn into a blob of pixels, but that's not the fault of the masters who ported this, it's the horsepower of the console. It also has the original music tracks, only in a poorer condition, but it has them, unlike the previous one. Also a little detail about both games is that they were censored, you're playing on a Nintendo in the 2000s. You can't have blood, I mean, think of the children. Ok, there were some gory games released on Nintendo consoles back then too, even on the GBA. But yeah, Doom was censored, so there's no blood or excessive gore in the game, also there are no Nazis. So as a conclusion, the two games are wonders. It's amazing how they managed to cram Doom on the GBA. And for some years, this was the best way to play Doom on the go in an era where laptops were super expensive. Only laptops could run the game better, but since they were expensive, the GBA was the best portable option. So even if today you can play a better portable Doom, just to pay an homage to the great GBA port, it's worth a try.